In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an as-applied coverage map and overlay it into Google Earth. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our USB into our terminal. We're going to exit full screen. We're going to navigate to administration menu, administration main menu, data exchange. Here you need to ensure that your field icon is enabled in the top right corner. And now we can see our field that we just completed. We're going to go ahead and select that field and we're going to transfer it to our USB by pressing this down arrow right here. It asks us if we'd like to export our worked area or not. In this case we do. We'll go ahead and hit the check mark. Now you'll notice here that that field and worked area is transferred to the USB. Now we'll go ahead and pull the USB out of the tractor and we'll take it to our computer. Okay, now that we're back at our computer, we'll go ahead and we'll open up Google Earth Pro. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert my USB into my computer. Now I'll navigate to that USB and I'll find our field that we saved from our terminal. So, as you can see here, here's my USB. I'll go ahead and I'll click on the field. I'll go ahead and I'll double click on this KML file. And now it will insert our coverage mapping onto Google Earth. And now with this, we can do all sorts of things. So we can pan this around. We can change our view up here, so we can look at more of like a bird's eye view if we wanted. That's as far as it'll scroll, so that's straight up and down. I can square it up with the earth with these left and right arrows. I can zoom in. Again, I can pan myself around so it fits the page nicely. That shows where I covered. So if you're a custom operator, maybe this would be quite useful for you. You could take this and uh, now you could print this off for your customer and send it with your invoice. So we'll go up here, we go to file and we go to print. So right up here then we can uh, click on print, we could pick our printer or we could go here, we could save this as a PDF. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll call this uh, PFC Sandbox. I'll pick my destination where I want to save it. I'll put it on my desktop. I'll hit save. Okay, now we'll minimize this. Maybe. And then on my desktop, I have this PDF. I can open it up. There you go. There's our file. We could send that off with our invoice to our customer.